Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Shayna, aka Luna Moth Goddess. And I'm back today with another pick a card reading. Um, today we're going to be doing a pick a card with Goddess Bastet. And we're going to be asking the question, why are you so fucking beautiful? Okay? So we have three piles to choose from, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So if you want to go ahead and pick a pile and I will meet you at your pile. <laughs> Hello beautiful people who chose pile number one. If you chose this Lumerian Quartz, then this is your pile. Alright, so to start off we have the Hearth, Early Winter, and this card shows like a cozy little fireplace. Um, this makes me feel like that, and there's like a, there's like a pot of tea and a cup of tea and like some journals, um, this, this makes me think, one of the reasons that you're so beautiful, pal number one, is because you're just so sweet and cozy and, um, you're, I mean, obviously physically beautiful, but also you have a beautiful soul, you have a beautiful heart, you're very generous, and you like to make people feel at home. You might, you like to make people feel comfortable in your presence, um, and I feel like people do feel comfortable around you. People do feel safe in your presence, um, you may be one of those people who like winter time. I personally hate it, but like a lot of my family loves the winter and they love being able to get all snuggled up and cozy and everything. So you might be one of those people who love to wear hoodies and sweaters and um, maybe like flannels, you like uh, to wear boots and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the vibe that I'm getting from that card. Let's see. We have some goddess cards here. We have a Targatis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Don't kill me if I am not. I do know that she is a mermaid goddess from ancient Sumeria. And she is the first, um, like, you know, mermaid goddess, like, as far as historically, that was, you know written down um and we have balance underneath that and then we also have the goddess nut with resurrection i hope i'm saying that right <laughs> again don't come for me if i'm not uh and she is an egyptian goddess um i think both of these energies are very beautiful um it seems like you're the type of, you could be the type of person who, like, um, like I was saying, like, you're really cozy and, like, sweet and, um, people just love being around you, but at the same time, you're very balanced to where you're not just gonna let anybody run all over you and, like, use you as a fucking, like, doormat to walk all over. I feel like you have, like, a dark side that you're very acquainted with, and if anyone disrespects you, you'll put them in their place. Um, and that's a very fucking beautiful thing. It took me a long time to learn that, honestly. Um, so I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like you're an empowered empath. Like, um, you love to make people feel comfortable because, um, you're so empathetic and, you know, you know how it feels when you're treated badly and you would never want to do that to someone else, but you're also not afraid to stand up for yourself or others and that's very beautiful. So yeah, like I was saying, like an empowered empath. Here we have star centers. Cosmic star family, support, socialize, community, 
again, I feel like, you know, uh, you're the type of person, for example, like, you love to be a hostess or a host of, like, a party or a family get-together. Um, you're like a, like, I want to say, like, a pillar of your community or of your family. You know, like, you're the type of person that people can depend on. You're stable. And you're just so loving and giving and generous. And... You're giving me, like, strong vibes of, like, my sister that's a year younger than me. This is totally her vibes. Even the late winter with the fireplace being all... This is totally her. And she is just such a beautiful person. Um, a beautiful soul. She has such a beautiful heart. She's so caring and giving and generous. Um, yeah. Oh. Fairies. Earth magic. We have card number 32, sleep. Card number 13, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Let's see. We have card number two, illumination. Oh, <laughs> no surprise here. We have the Cancer card. Oh. <laughs> and we have the Vegans or Vegans. Um, solitude, Independent, Peace. Yeah, so which uh, the Vegans are actually an extraterrestrial race who are vegans. They do not eat animals. And this is so funny. I swear... If my sister is watching, uh, the one that's a year younger than me, I bet you picked this pile. <laughs> um, and she's also a vegan, by the way. Um, but yeah, you just, you just have such a soft, gentle, beautiful energy, especially with this cancer card. You make Again, you just make people feel so safe in your presence. You're such a blessing and a gift to others. You, like, um, like, for example, I feel like my sister that I've been talking about who's like this is a miracle in my life, you know? Like, I feel like it's a miracle that she's my sister because she's just such a soothing, calming presence, someone that, you know that's so easy to talk to, that's not judgmental, who is a shoulder to cry on when you need, um, and they're just, you're just magical, you know, and, um, I feel like you're probably, I'm getting the vibe that you're probably very introverted, um, you know, you probably don't like to go out and, like, you know, be in big groups of people a lot, but when you're with those you love, like when you're with your family or your soul family, the people that you hold dearly, you are the life of the party, like I said, you're the hostess or the host, and you just make people feel at home. You make people feel safe and loved and seen. And that is such a beautiful energy. And whoever you are watching this, I'm so thankful to have someone like you viewing my channel. And um, I just want to say that you're so fucking beautiful inside and out. Um, and I was going to get a little bit, a few tarot cards for you as well. Let's see. Okay, Goddess Bastet. Why is pile number one so fucking beautiful? What is it? 
got the lovers popping out already. Why is pile number one so fucking beautiful? We have the Page of Cups, again, Water Energy, we have the Magician, like I said, you're fucking magical, pile number one, and we have the Page of Swords, and this one wants to come out as well, the Chariot. And I just got this deck recently and I love it because it has like, you know, all of these fairy tale creatures on them. Um, yeah, I just, I really love this deck. And when I was picking up this card, the Page of Swords, I just... Uh, the Headless Horseman. I don't know why. I just felt this vibe like that you're a very nostalgic person. Um, you know, you maybe you really love like movies and TV shows and you, um, you know, you might like quoting them or, um, you know, like, I don't, you're just a fun time to be around is what I'm getting with that. And... Um, like, like I said before, uh, you're an empowered empath where, you know, cause I feel like these three cards, they're all holding swords. And so I feel like, you know, even though you are this, like, I don't, like, I feel like you're this, like, cute little bunny like you're so sweet and kind and gentle but don't fucking cross you because then <laughs> like you'll just put someone in their motherfucking place like quick like you have you know how to put up boundaries that's what i was trying to say you know how to put up boundaries for yourself you respect yourself you care about others and you're so giving, but you know that, like, you know how to fill up your own cup first. Like, you take care of yourself first and you put boundaries in place and you're a very balanced, strong person. And also, you're just a sweet little bunny who uh, is so beautiful and just a shining light to those around you. Just You're just like a lighthouse, like a beacon of hope, a beacon of love. Um, yeah, and like, like I was saying, like a safe place. You're like, uh, you know, like a lighthouse. That's what they do is they, um, they signal to the ships at sea at night that, you know, that that's a safe place for them to come, that there's a harbor for them. And that's just who you are, and you're an awesome person, pal number one. And I was also going to get a few of my, a few of the cards from my handmade deck. Okay, got asbestos. Please tell me, why is Pile 1 so fucking beautiful? Okay, got a special step, please tell me, why is Pile Number 1? Oh, all of these fell out. Okay, I guess those are your cards. Um, okay, so we have throat chakra you are wise and that's that's literally what I was just thinking with this throat chakra card is like you know you're that you're that person that someone comes to 
like not only when they need a shoulder to cry on maybe you're the you know you're the friend or the family member that people can come to to like vent and like you know not dump on you know like hopefully nobody's dumping on you um i don't think you would allow that because i think you would like put up your boundaries and be like hey you can't fucking do that with me but like with this throat chakra card not only are you a good listener but you're also a good advice giver um with this you are wise card you are a leader divine timing and your good deeds don't go unnoticed um this just goes along with what I was saying before is like that this you are a leader card is that you know like in your probably in your family your friend group your community whatever community you're a part of you are a leader you are a pillar you are somebody like if you're not there like shit will fall apart basically um and with these two cards here the divine timing and your good deeds don't go unnoticed what I really feel with this, pawn number one, is that you have some, like, strong good karma coming in for you in divine timing. Um, something that you've been trying to manifest, um, you know, you know, this is just coming through, so I, I'm going to say it. But, for example, like, if you're trying to get pregnant, um, maybe you're trying to move somewhere or get a new house or something like that, um, it's going to happen for you. Because you are so generous and giving with people in your life. You have so much good karma coming in. Um... And there's going to be miracles and blessings coming for you, okay? It's going to come. I know sometimes divine timing, you don't want to hear that. I know a lot of times I don't want to hear that myself when I'm thinking about things I'm trying to manifest into my life. But, you know, the thing is that the universe knows best and it's bringing what you desire in the right time, in the right space for you, um, and it's gonna be magical, it's gonna be magical, just don't give up, don't lose faith, um, and I was gonna just end this reading for you, Paul number one, with some advice from the White Light Oracle. Bastards. What advice do you have for pile number one? Okay. What advice do you have for my pile number one? Okay. We have Ishtar's Lion Gate 888. And this is card number 44. Okay. And this is really interesting to me because, um, just the lion part. Because, uh, if, if, uh, you're not aware, Goddess Vesta is now viewed as, um, a black cat. Right, but originally she was viewed as a lioness, a lioness humanoid goddess, um, which I also did use the Lyran deck, the Lyran Starseed deck, I believe, um, which I used that for Goddess Bastet because, uh, um, because, 
sorry that was my mom saying hi <laughs> um you know because the Lyran uh extraterrestrial race is a race of um lion lioness and bird humanoid beings i believe i know for sure that they are like a lot of them are lion and lioness beings and i also have you know read and heard that um some of them are also bird-like humanoids but anyways let's read your advice And I'm not going to read the entire thing because it's very long. I'm just going to read the first part. And, um, yeah. So it says, Ishtar's Lion Gate, 888. Your heart has a heightened connection with the higher realms of consciousness and light. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. That's what I was just saying. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are headed your way. Take care of your heart. Ask for spiritual assistance and it shall be granted. Something negative is going to transform into something very positive. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> literally what I was just saying is that, you know, you have good karma coming. You have blessings and abundance coming your way. Your manifestations are coming. Keep your heart, you know, keep heart and don't lose faith and reach out to your spirit guides or your spiritual team um, if you want any help. And I think that's it for you, pile number one. And you are so fucking beautiful. Um... You're just, uh, I don't know why I feel like I want to cry. You're just a, a ray of sunshine. You're a ball of fun. You are a sweet little bunny. Uh, it reminds me, what is it, uh, that movie, Hoodwinked, I think. And, like, the villain is the bunny, and he's, like, all cute and cuddly. But then, like, you know, when he gets mad, he, like, turns into a monster. I feel like that's you. And, um, but in a good way. So anyways, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Thank you so much uh, for watching this reading. And if this resonated with you, I would really love to hear um, your thoughts about how it resonated in the comments. And, you know, if you wanted to give this video a like, it would be much appreciated. And sending you lots of love and light. Bye. Hello, beautiful people who chose pile number two. If you chose this beautiful seashell, then this is your reading from Goddess Vesta about why are you so fucking beautiful. Okay, so for your signifier card, we have the harvest, late summer. Okay. Maybe, like myself, you might be a summer lover. Um, you might enjoy the warm weather. I do. If you're watching this when I'm uploading it, it's like, ugh, it's like late winter right before springtime, and I'm so ready for summer to be here. Um, let's see here which goddess card we have. We have Hecate with magic. Okay, so, so far with these two cards, like, I'm getting the vibe, I'm getting, I'm getting a very witchy vibe. You might be the type of, of person, like, you could be like a kitchen witch, you could be like, um, an herbal witch, like, you know, like, you know, you might be the type of person who likes to make tinctures and you know all about herbal medicine or maybe that's something that you're interested in and you want to get into and if so I would say definitely you should do that um but yeah I'm getting really witchy vibes from this pile let's see oh 
we have card number 30, Remembrance. Um, I feel like pile number two, you could definitely be a star seed. Um, this is deep, like, you, you might be, well, you might be somebody who's really into astrology, into studying astrology and the stars and astronomy, um, but this to me is, like, you could be somebody who's really into the Akashic Records. You could um, be into doing like past life regressions for yourself or others. Um, I feel like you have a very strong intuition. I feel like this is my psychic pile. Um, hello, fellow psychics. Um, yeah. We have number six, boundaries. It says no is yes to self-love. Um, I feel like that kind of speaks for itself that you're, um, you're a very empowered, strong person. You know how to put up boundaries for yourself. Um, and I, I feel like not just with others, but with yourself, I feel like you might be a very disciplined person. Um, like, maybe uh, maybe you enjoy, like, working out. Uh, maybe you have, like, a strict workout routine, exercise routine. Maybe you enjoy, like, doing yoga, uh, meditation, pranayama, things like this. Um, and I feel like you're very physically beautiful, like... Um, you know, and just because I say, you know, like that you exercise and you're physically beautiful, that doesn't mean that you have to be a certain size. You can be healthy and beautiful and physically fit, you know, at any size, really. I mean, obviously there are limits, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, um, yeah, I just, like, we have rain, purification, yeah, I just feel like, and with this food here, I feel like you could be either, like, vegan or paleo, like, you're just really into living a healthy lifestyle um yeah I feel like you're you're the type of person that you know the importance of being healthy mentally emotionally physically like mind body and spirit right um and Yeah, like, you could even be, like, a teacher for one of these things. Like, you could even, like, teach people how to live healthy lifestyles and things like that. You might be into, like, Ayurveda. Um, yeah. Let's see here. We have 13 with barriers. We have 15... Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. And we have number 23. You are worth it. I don't know. This is really, uh, this is really crazy because I feel like, you know, Paul number one really reminded me of one of my sisters, a sister that's a year younger than me. And I feel like this Paul really resonates with me and really, and like, um, I feel like I really relate to this Paul. I feel like you are in the process of like, 
like I said, you're just in the process of, what's the word? Like conquering, that's not the right word. Like, uh, mastering, that's the word. You're in the process of mastering yourself, mind, body, and spirit. I feel like spiritually, like, you, um, you're very connected with spirit. You're very connected with your spirit guides, your spiritual team. Um, and I feel like you have very strong psychic abilities and I feel like those are like growing stronger and stronger every day and that you're very tapped into source and that you're basically like a walking open channel um for the universe um and like with this card as i was talking about the akashic records like you could be going deep like even like, like i said even learning about like past lives and stuff like that that you've been through and like how it's affecting you in this life um and i feel like with this card practice compassion th see things from a fresh perspective um i feel like you're really working on your mental health as well like for example just for example you know me recently i've been learning about um you know what is my personality type what are the cognitive functions and how that relates to how i see the world um and you know what is my attachment style and how does that affect my relationships and then you know i've also been looking at you know what are the personality types of my loved ones and people that i'm close to and what are their cognitive functions and how do they see the world you know and like learning how to see things from a different perspective you know because just because someone you know sees things differently from you doesn't mean that they're wrong you know like um and i feel like you are getting to the point where you're understanding yourself more fully and um also like with you are worth it card and the the boundaries and barriers card like that you're really yeah because this one says no is yes to self-love and this one's saying you are worth it like you are worthy of love i feel like you've been on a self-love journey and um you're learning how to love yourself and you're learning how to understand yourself more deeply and that is helping you love and understand others better right and um so i feel like you know and i really feel like you're a healer especially with the seashell you know you chose the seashell like um i got the seashell my last trip to the beach and it was the first uh the first time I took a trip to the beach by myself and it was such a healing journey, a healing experience. Um, so I, I feel like you're, you know, that's what healers do. Like, I feel like a lot of times healers go through so much more darkness and s this is just my opinion you know from my experience that healers go through so much painful experiences because in order to heal others you have to be ordered to heal yourself first right and you're just so fucking beautiful Paul number two um you have such a beautiful energy, beautiful healing, ethereal vibe, like, you're not of this world, like, you know, like, and I feel like you just want to bring peace and love to the world, like, I'm getting, like, hippie vibes as well, like, you're just really cool, and I want to thank you for, uh, you know, for all the viewers of pile number two who 
you know, are a part of my community and watching my channel. I'm so thankful to have uh, people like you who are so beautiful inside and out. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. We have the Venus card. Like, how beautiful is that? Like, you can't get more beautiful than that. Okay, and we have the Arcturians. Feeling safe, wisdom keepers, and concern. This is, like, exactly what I was just saying. Like, the Arcturians are uh, an extraterrestrial race that are, like, one of the smartest. They are, like, so intelligent and wise and, like, they have such advanced technology. And they, uh, they are, there are some here wanting to help, uh, help us humans, like, raise our vibration so that we can reach uh, 5D, um, and I feel like this is you as well, like, you, um, you're here on a mission to help the collective raise their vibration, right, like, spiritually, and like, you know, in order to do that first, you know, we have to get there ourselves if we want to help others get there as well, you know, we have to raise our vibration and master ourselves, mind, body, and spirit, right? And, like, all of those three are just as important as the, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just focus on the spiritual and, you know, just be in meditation all the time and be in the astral realm, astral projecting all the time. You know, of course, that's awesome to do and you should do that, but you also have to focus on your mind, on your mental health, you know, because our brain gets stuck in, in patterns and like loops. Like once the pathways are created, you know, like we're just on repeat over and over again. And it takes a lot of work and conscious effort to break yourself out of those patterns. Like to, for example, to break yourself out of the pattern of having an anxious attachment style. It's really hard, you know, because it's something that was most likely caused by childhood trauma, you know? And so it takes effort to change that. It takes discipline to, you know, to have a healthy lifestyle, to eat clean, to exercise regularly. And I'm preaching to myself here, you know, because like, that's something that I'm working on, you know? Um, and yeah, I just noticed all the seashells in this Venus card as well. And it's just, I just feel a very divine feminine energy from this pile like um you know you're just you're just so beautiful pile number two and um like it's it's really hard in this society uh, you know, I, I'm from the U.S., so, um, I'm speaking about our society, Western society. It's so hard to be, like, in your divine feminine energy as a woman here. Because, um, you know, this patriarchal system has been in place for so long. And I feel like you are one of those people and and you know I'm not just talking you know you could be a man watching this as well but and it's also because you know we are supposed to be balanced with both uh, divine feminine and divine masculine energy because everyone has both energies right but like um, it's so hard I guess I should say for men and women to stand in your divine feminine energy and exude that in this type of society because, you know, emotionality, like emotion, <laughs> I'm making up words, <laughs> um, <laughs> just being very emotional and sensitive is like looked down upon and seen as less than, um, and that's so not fucking true, especially like, you know, when it comes to spiritual things, that's why 
you know, it, you're more likely to see, like, women, um, as, like, psychics and mediums and things like that because we're more sensitive and therefore we're more sensitive to energy. We're more sensitive to spirits. We're more sensitive to those type of things. Um, but yeah, like, you're just giving off this, like, siren, like, baddie, just gorgeous, like, femme fatale, dark feminine, yeah, especially with these two cards, like, very, like, dark feminine energy, which is so fucking beautiful, and I feel, like, really rare as well, um, and, yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and get some tarot for you as well. Okay, that is faster. Why is pile number two so fucking beautiful? Why is pile number two... So fucking beautiful. Goddess Vestet. Why is pile number two so fucking beautiful? Let's see here. We have the Ten of Cups, Leviathan. Ooh. We have the Moon, Werewolf. If this isn't dark feminine energy, I don't know what is. If this isn't like fucking femme fatale, like badass energy, I don't know what is. Eight of Cups, Pirate, and let's see here, Nine of Wands, Pumpkin Head, Wheel of Fortune on the back. Yeah, like, <laughs> like literally, this is, this is reminding me of Lilith energy, like, you know, um, supposedly Lilith was the first woman that was created before Eve, you know, and like, um, she was, she was in her divine feminine energy and like, basically, you know, during intercourse, she refused to be on bottom. She wanted to be on top. She didn't want to, uh, submit to Adam just because he was a man. And she was essentially thrown out of the Garden of Eden because of that, right? So many people look down on this dark, divine feminine energy. And it's it's just so fucking beautiful. Like, it's so beautiful to stand in your power. It's so beautiful to, you know, be sovereign over your own body. Um... Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, like, you know, for example, being, uh, you know, being submissive and, and S-E-X-U-A-L-L-Y way. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being submissive to your husband. You know what I mean? As, as long as he's, like, protecting you. There's nothing wrong with following like traditional masculine and feminine roles there's nothing wrong with that at all and in fact that is also a beautiful thing but it is also beautiful to stand in your power and to stand up for yourself and to just you know like be your own master be your own goddess you know be your own god like um yeah, and I feel like you're very, like, with this werewolf and the moon, like, you're very mysterious. Um, like I was saying before, like, very witchy vibes, very ethereal vibes, very starseed vibes. And I, with these, I'm just getting, like, that you might, I feel like maybe you might have, like, a lot of, a mixture of, like, water and fire in your in your chart um I personally do like two of my main three are water and fire and I feel like that's a very powerful combination 
you know and even if it's not in your chart maybe you just exude this energy of where you're so healing like such watery healing vibes um but at the same time you're also like so fiery and passionate and like stand up for what you believe in stand up for humanity you know like you want to change like the world you know what I mean like you want to help humanity raise their consciousness and and you want to do that through like healing them wow um all right I'm gonna get a few from my handmade deck as well what is best said why is pile number two so fucking beautiful. Why is my pine number two so fucking beautiful? Okay. okay, these ones are coming out. Okay. Let's see. We have cancer energy, like I was just saying. Very watery, healing, emotional energy. We have, you are divinely guided. Yeah, that was like exactly what I was saying before. Like you're so connected to spirit. You're so connected to source. You're a channel. Heart chakra. I feel like you're a person who lives their life from their heart. You know, um, a lot of people like live their life and make their decisions based on logic and based on their mind and there's nothing wrong with that at all you know I, like I was talking about personality types everyone's different um but I feel like you're a type of person who is very emotional and leads you know lets your heart lead the way you are talented and you are courageous and on the back we have solar plexus chakra and then under that we have you are a medium yeah so I feel like like I was saying like this is literally right here like water and fire energy like um, your solar plexus um, is the fire chakra you know and cancer energy is a water zodiac um, and with this you are courageous card it's um, yellow which is also solar plexus color I feel like um, and I feel like that's where like courage comes from is your solar plexus chakra is like when you are confident in yourself um, you're courageous to step out into the world and be who you are are meant to be to be your authentic self and I feel like you're very talented um this could be you know this could be any type of way but uh for me like it just made me think of like you might be a musician you might be a singer um you could be like a speaker um like you know maybe you're like a co like a, a life coach or something like that like a, or a motivational speaker um but yeah you're just so awesome and beautiful and like um I would love to be friends with you Paul number two whoever you are and I'm just gonna end your reading with some guidance from the white light oracle What advice do you have for pile number two? What, is that? what advice do you have for my pile number twos? Please and thank you. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, this is this is just so crazy. I, <laughs> this is weird because this is the same exact card that pile number one got. Okay. Um, and this is, you know, like 44 card deck or something like that, or maybe more than that. 
but uh this is Ishtar's Lion Gate 888 card number 44 and like I was telling Paul number one I feel like it's really significant because you know um you know in case you didn't know Goddess Bastet is now seen as a black cat um a domestic cat but originally, in the Egyptian pantheon, she was seen as a lioness goddess. Like, she is a lioness humanoid, you know, like, human body and a lioness head. Um, and also, I used the, um, the Lyran Starseed Oracle. That's what this card is from. For this reading specifically, because, um, you know, the Lyrans are also um, a lion, lioness, uh, extraterrestrial race, um, and also some of them are, like, bird-like humanoid beings, but, um, a lot of them are represented, or are, you know, embodied as lioness and lion beings. So, this is just so crazy. Okay. Okay, Ishtar's Lion Gate, 888, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's very long, but I'm just going to read the first, uh, par first little paragraph of this uh, advice for you. It says, your heart has a heightened connection with the higher realms of consciousness and light. Yeah, that's exact. ah, why didn't I say this? Like, it's been like slapping me in the face this whole reading. It's like, you are a light worker, obviously, you're a fucking light worker, like, you're here to uplift humanity's vibration. I don't know why I didn't say that. Like, I was thinking it, but I didn't, like, I couldn't find the right word. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are headed your way. Take care of your heart. Ask for spiritual assistance, and it shall be granted. Something negative is going to transform into something very positive. Yeah, and um, I just wanted to say that I feel like, you know, my pile number two is you're definitely alchemist. You know how to transmute negative energy into positive energy. And, like, that's part of your healing gift. You know, you're able to transmute darkness into light. Like, the energy of this earth realm is so heavy, and you're able to transmute that heavy, dark energy into, like, light and peace and love. And that is so amazing and so beautiful, and that is so hard to do. Like, not just anybody can do that. You are special. And, um, <laughs> yeah, like, obviously you have many blessings and abundance coming your way. And, um, I just want to say thank you so much, Pal 2. I'm so happy that you're here, that you joined me. Um, if you stuck it out for this entire reading, thank you so much. And if this resonated with you, um, I would really love it if you would tell me in the comments how this resonated for you. And, um, you know, if you want to give me a like, that would be awesome. And I just wish you lots of love and light. Bye. Hello beautiful people who chose pile number three. If you chose this little root chakra thing that says I am, then this is your reading about why you are so fucking beautiful according to Goddess Vestet. Okay, so the signifier card you chose was the womb, early winter. So, I do already feel like a very motherly vibe, like, um, like a very feminine energy that's very nurturing, and, um, yeah. Let's see what else you have. I'm going to butcher this goddess's name. <laughs> 
Chow Chi Hu I can't, I'm not even going to attempt it, but it says fresh start. And I would like to read about this goddess real quick because I'm not very familiar with her. She is an Aztec goddess. Says, let everything else go and start over from scratch. Goddess of water is here to help you wash away everything that isn't working for you and create a brand new story. She's guiding you over her rainbow bridge to more fertile grounds. Wow. <laughs> but really like with the water and the fertility, like I said, like a very motherly energy going on here and we have dolphin play more water energy let's see wow and we have central heart partnership soulmate clarity heart guides and there's a uh, lions but there's also a huge lotus flower which is also like makes me think of water energy as well Hmm. With this pile, I feel like, um, I'm getting a few different things. I'm getting, um, maybe okay, I'm getting. Maybe you are, well, first of all, this womb card makes me think that you are in a place of death and rebirth. Like you're in a place of gestating of like something big is about to happen for you. Something, I know this is, this is a little different vibe than the first two pals and you know, going a little off topic of the reading, but, you know, I'm open to whatever Goddess Vesta is trying to tell me here. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you are in this winter phase where spring is around the corner and a uh, fresh life is about to begin. Um, yeah, like with this fresh start and new beginnings, um, I feel like there's some sort of divine timing at play here for you in your life right now where your manifestations are about to be coming in soon. And I feel like that that could be regarding, like, a love situation. Um, or it could be about, I'm getting, like, you know, like, a pregnancy type situation. Like, you might be getting pregnant soon. Um, maybe if that's something that you've been trying to do. Like, if you've been trying to conceive. Um maybe that's going to happen soon in the next few months maybe um but yeah let's get the rest of your cards out let's see here we have desert vision quest we have number six give back and i can't help but notice this looks like a family to me on this card. Like, it looks like at the top there's a mom and a dad and then there's two children at the bottom of the card. I feel like you could be starting a family soon. Paw number three. Um, whether that be in the sense that you and your... Your... Um, you know, you and your partner are finally coming into union. Maybe you're finally making it official. Maybe you're going to be moving in together soon. Maybe you're going to get a proposal soon. Maybe, like I said, you're going to get pregnant soon and, like, actually start having children. Um, let's see. 
Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Number 41. And the imagery on this card is just really giving me strong, like, Mother Earth Gaia vibes. Like, um, very fertile, feminine energy from this card. We have perfect setting. And I feel like, again, I feel like this is referring to divine timing. Um, with this vision quest and this womb card, I feel like right now you are... I feel like you are in the process of getting ready for your manifestations to come in. I feel like they are just around the corner and um, like they're just waiting for this perfect setting. They're waiting for everything to be right, for, for the divine timing to be on point, for everything so that the this partnership, soulmate... Um, and family can come into your life, like, in a real 3D way. Like, maybe it's something that you've been knowing intuitively in the 5D is coming, like, that it's, you know, like, maybe in the 5D it's already there. You already know that it exists, you know, like, that the things you want are wanting you. And that they're coming to you. But I'm just feeling like I want to say, you know, like, don't give up. Like, um, and I feel like with these, these two cards, they say, give back and do something for someone. Give your attention to another. I feel like this man manifestation that's coming in for you, whatever it is for your situation, you'll know what it is. Um, this is coming to you because you are such a beautiful person because you have been working on yourself. You have been doing the shadow work. You have been getting ready and you have been like such a giving person to other people. Um, you know, you've been focused on, like, helping other people. You've been focused on, you know, even though inside you're like, you know, when's going to be my time? Like, you know, like, sorry. Like, you know, like, when's going to be my, my chance? Like, you know, for my dreams to come true, for the things that I want to come to me. Um, but, you know, even though you've been feeling that way, you've been seeing other people who, you know, who have what you want and who, um, you know, they have received their manifestations, um, that they have wanted, you know, whether it be with a soulmate, whether it be with, you know, like having a baby, um, things like this, and you, even though, like, you want that so badly, you've still been happy for others when you see it, you've still been supporting them, and, you know, just for an example, you know, like, maybe you've been, like, you know, helping out with one of your loved ones, like, wedding showers or baby showers, you know, even though, like, it's been you know, kind of, like, hurting you in a way, you know, because, like, you want that, too, like, of course, and that's the thing, like, you want that, too, but you've been so, still so happy for them, and supporting them, and so glad that the universe is giving them what they want, and I feel like the universe is saying, like, that, like, 
it's about to be your turn. You are about to get the happy ending that you've always wanted, the happy ending that you've been dreaming of, right? Just don't give up. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have the sun card. Like, the sun is about to come out and shine in your life because you fucking deserve it. Because you are such a beautiful person. Because you are such a good person who gives to others, who loves others, who loves unconditionally, and who has put in the work on themselves to be the person that you are. Maybe you weren't always this type of person, you know? Maybe in the past, you, you know, you hadn't done the work on yourself and you just weren't that, you know, maybe that nice of a person or just, you know, maybe you were, how do I say this? You just weren't this, like, you didn't understand yourself as much. Like, you weren't as wise, you know, and, like, you weren't ready, you know, but I feel like what Goddess Vesta is saying is that you are, like, you are ready slash you are getting ready. Like, you are in the womb on your desert quest. You are gestating. You are, you are literally like a caterpillar in the cocoon right now. And I know it's so fucking painful because... Literally, you know, for a caterpillar to become a butterfly, it literally has to melt into goo into the cocoon to literally dissolve everything that it was and basically die in order to emerge and become a butterfly. And I feel like right now you're in this cocoon phase and which is still so beautiful, by the way, because you had to work so hard to fucking get in that cocoon and, like, go through this transformation process in the first place, right? And, but you are about to emerge more beautiful than ever, right? And then we have the earth element, survival, adaptable, reliable. And again, it just makes me think of this card, like, the... Mother Earth, Gaia, like, fertile, feminine energy that you're exuding. And, um, that's just so beautiful. And I'm so happy for you, Paul number three. And, um, you know, just know that you deserve this. You're worthy of this. You are always deserving. You are always worthy of it. But, you know, sometimes, you know, things can't come until other things happen, you know. And I feel like you are in the perfect setting right now to, um, for your manifestations to come in, right? Because you've been working on yourself and... You're just so beautiful, Paul number three, and I'm so happy for you. I wanted to get a few tarot cards for you. Got a basket. Why is my pile number three so beautiful? Got a basket. Why? Oh. Why is my pile number three so fucking beautiful? Oh, oh, oh this just popped out and fell on the floor. Okay. Let's see here. We have the Eight of Swords, Pegasus. We have Knight of Wands, Hanuman. Um, let's get a few more. Why is my pawn number three so fucking beautiful? We have seven of pentacles, gremlins, huh, 
And we have Wheel of Fortune. The Inquisitor. And on the back, we have Nine of Cups with the Kraken. Okay, I feel like this really just fully confirms exactly what I was saying. With this Eight of Swords, this is a very different Eight of Swords. So, visually with this Eight of Swords, with this Pegasus and the Rainbow, I just see like, um, one of these other cards was talking about, oh yeah, it was this goddess here. She has a rainbow. Like, rainbows to me always signify blessings and miracles. And so I definitely feel like that's on the way to you. Blessings and miracles. And the eight of swords, I feel like you've been stressed about it. You've been worried about it. You've been doubting it and thinking like that it's not going to happen. And for some of you... With the Seven of Pentacles, like, and the Gremlins, I feel like you've been waiting for a long time. This is a very long-term investment you've been waiting on. Um, and you've been questioning if it's going to come in. Um, but, like, what I feel like Goddess Vesta is saying is, like, don't let go of your passion and desire. Don't give up hope. Like, just know the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and the everything you want is coming to you. The Nine of Cups is literally like ultimate emotional fulfillment. This is what's coming to you. And then under that we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Dryad, which is what I was literally talking about, like... The Mother Earth Gaia energy. And then under that we have Temperance with the Sea Nymph. I feel like, you know, just... I know this sucks to hear and it sucks to say it as well. Just keep having patience. Don't give up, okay? Don't let these gremlins steal your joy or steal your passion. Just know... Everything you want is coming to you, okay? Because you fucking deserve it because you're a fucking beautiful person, okay? And I wanted to get a few cards for you from my handmade deck. Got a set. Why is pile number two so fucking beautiful? Why is pile number two? Sorry, pile number three. Why is pile number three? Maybe you might want to check out pile number two. Ooh, that's too many. Why is pile number three so fucking beautiful? Heart chakra. I think I kept calling you pile number two. Maybe if you wanted to actually see what this reading is about, um, <laughs> which is why are you so fucking beautiful, maybe you might want to check out pile number two. Maybe that will resonate with you. But of course, only if you feel called to it. Yeah, and we got this card in pile number two, the solar plexus chakra. Um, we have Virgo energy. We have, you're gonna, okay, we have Archangel Sandalfun. I'm not going to lie, I don't remember a lot about this Archangel. I'd have to, like, look that up. Then we literally have this card, You Are Fertile. I mean, like, spot on of what I was saying before. Like, um... You're just embodying this Mother Earth, Goddess Gaia energy, and it's so beautiful. And maybe you should look in, look up Archangel Sandalfin and see, like, what he's all about, right? Um, maybe that might resonate with your situation and what you're going through. Um, yeah, like, in this Higher Heart Chakra on the back card, um... And then under that, we have You Are Lovely. Um, yeah, I just feel like you're such a beautiful person. And, like, with this higher heart chakra, it makes me feel like uh, just what I was saying earlier about how you're such a generous, giving person. You care about others so much and you uplift others and you're always there for other people. 
and I feel like Goddess Besta is saying, like, you're being rewarded for that. Like, it's, it's your turn. Your turn is coming. It's on the way. Like, don't give up. And I'm just going to end this reading with some advice from the White Light Oracle deck. Goddess Vesta, what advice do you have for pile number three, please? What advice do you have? Oh, well, that one flew out. Okay, I was about to say, because we literally got the same advice for pile number one and two, so I was about to be like, if that card came out again, I'm going to shit my pants. Um, we have number 14. Yogini of 285 Hertz. Okay, so um, maybe something that would be good for you is to um, listen to some binaural beats that are 285 Hertz. Um, that might help, you know, maybe that could possibly help you with your, um, like, anxiety. Or I don't want to say, like, you know, I'm not going to you know, like overthinking or like stress that you've been having about like waiting for this to come in, maybe that would really help you. Um, I'm not going to read the full uh, reading on this because it's super long, but I'm going to read the first paragraph just to give you some advice. Yogini of 285 Hertz. Changes in your life including closing doors or missed opportunities, are not going to derail your fulfillment. Wow. <laughs> ah, this is exactly what I've been talking about this whole reading. Realignments are happening based on divine wisdom and timing. What the fuck? That's literally, like, everything I've been saying. You are being diverted from unnecessary obstacles and suffering. Trust in how your life path is unfolding. Stay true to your authentic healing journey because it is working, whether you realize that or not. Significant inner healing is taking place. Yeah, <sighs> that's so crazy. That's literally what I was feeling like with this, with this card, the womb energy. Is it like you are on this vision quest of healing, of like working on yourself, um... And everything that you want is going to come in in divine timing, like I said. So, pile number three, thank you so much for joining me. You're so fucking beautiful. And um, if this did resonate for you, I would love for you to leave me some comments about how it did. And if you would like to leave me a like, I would very much appreciate it. And thank you so much just for being here and for being you. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Bye.